Hi, my name is Dee from the Fab Clique Fabric Shop. Our online store, thefabclique.com, opened in 2017, and we offer a wide range variety of fabrics, such as knits, wovens, sweater knits, you name it. I co-own the shop with my husband, Angelo, who is usually the muscle of the shop, and occasionally my male model. I do mostly the sourcing, marketing, cutting, and shipping of the fabrics. I'm delighted that I'm speaking here today to share my experiences and knowledge regarding the fabric components of your sewing. Aside from being a fabric shop owner, I am also constantly testing for pattern designers such as Rebecca Page, 5 out of 4, Ellie and Mac, and many more. I've been sewing since 2012 and I have learned that fabric choices is almost always a defining factor of your finished garment. So picking of your fabric. Once you pick your pattern, the first thing you need to do is know what type of fabric you need in terms of stretch percentage, is it for knit or for woven, does it need structure or drape, should it be lightweight or heavyweight. For the purpose of this video, let's talk about knit fabrics. This topic alone would amount in hours and hours of information. There are a lot of knit fabrics out there. So for this video, I will concentrate on jerseys, textured knit, French terry, and stretch denims. So let's talk about jersey. This fabric is one of the most popular fabric in apparel and most diverse fabric used in the fashion industry. Why? Because it does not require an exact fitting due to the stretchability. It allows for easy fitting on variety and body types. The distinctive feature of a jersey is that the face is smooth and flat. When you cut it, the edges tends to roll. It would have a good drape and cool to touch. Usual fiber content would be poly blends and rayon blends. You can use this fabric for tops, t-shirts, dresses, sh shirts, and more. For example, I tested the Toronto tee from Rebecca Page. Here I used a rayon spandex and the other is cotton lycra. Here's a sample of a cotton lycra. It has good drape, stretch, and it tends to roll when cut. The next fabric that I'm going to talk to you about are textured knits. Liverpool, Bullet Knit, and Thermal Knit are just a sample of the textured knits, but there are hundreds more out there. Textured knit would have some bumpy texture like the Liverpool. It would have good stretch and drape, and it retains its shape. Here's a sample of a Bullet Knit. Here's a sample of Liverpool. And here's a sample of a waffle knit. French terry are very popular, especially in the fall and the winter time. It has a flat, smooth face and a looped back. You can use the French terry for hoodies, joggers, and pullovers. There are a few different types of French terry. This one is a regular French terry with a smooth face and the loop back. Let's see. This one in our shop is the Sherpa back French terry. It has the smooth face and the fake Sherpa look in the back. The other one is a brush French terry. Still has a smooth smooth face and a brushed back like a fleece. Lastly, this French terry has a big loop in the back. Here's the smooth face and if you can see the loops are really wide. 
Last but not the least, I want to talk about denims. In my shop, I offer four types of denims. Knit denims, non-stretch denims, stretch denims, and denim jeggings. Knit denims are usually made of poly rayon spandex. It's usually good for blouses, tank tops, dresses, or skirts. Here's a sample of a knit denim. It has a lot of stretch. There's no structure. And it's very drapey. The next kind are non-stretch denims. These denims are just like your regular jeans that you buy from a store. It's still woven, does not have stretch, and has a structure in a in medium way. The next one are stretch denims, or in my shop, I call them the true woven denims. Stretch denims are medium to heavyweight. It's woven, but has an added stretch for ease. It allows the wearer to move more comfortably. Usually, it consists of cotton spandex. Here's a sample of stretch denim from my shop. It has about 30%. Only two way. There's no stretch down there. Lastly, I would like to show you our true denim jeggings. These are also woven denims. They're lightweight but has 50% stretch from salvage to salvage. It's only two way, so there's no stretch vertically, but a lot of stretch horizontally. You can see it still has a little structure, but it's also woven. If you compare it to the, if you compare it to the knit denims, knit denims has a lot of drape, and our denim jeggings has a little. And that concludes this video. I hope you learned something new. Goodbye.